YouTube, this is Andre from IsoGens and we are doing interview today. Let's welcome Mr. Captain Crypto from Ancoin Buses. And uh, did you know uh, Captain Crypto is uh, Nathan and he's uh, also worked for Hollywood and entertainment for over 12 years and gathered over 100 million views collectively. And today we're gonna find out who's the person behind the scenes, Mr. Nathan, as known as Captain Crypto. So let's welcome him. Hey, nice to meet you. It's good to see you guys. Um, Los Angeles, 7 o'clock p.m. right now. And I'm happy to be here. Um, let's, let's do it. Yes, thank you, Nathan. And uh, so uh, everybody, I think uh, uh, so many people know you as uh, Captain Crypto from Ancoin. But so can you uh, describe yourself a little bit? Uh, I mean, uh, so can you uh, uh, describe your work as a KOL in the Ankai buses a little bit? Um, yeah, so I started off as a filmmaker. I've been making films for a long time, like movies, commercials. Um, I've worked on a lot of uh, TV stuff for different celebrities here in Los Angeles. And then um, making films, I feel like, is telling story. And I, I believe that, you know, telling your story or telling other people's story is very important. And then when I saw uh, the crypto space, I, I saw that there wasn't a lot of good video. There wasn't a lot of good film. There wasn't a lot of good quality. There was mostly a lot of talking about charts and how it's gonna make people money. And I, I felt like it was missing something there. And then at the same time, you know, in Hollywood, everybody makes film. There's it's so cutthroat, you know, everybody does this, everybody, it's very hard to break out um, in film so then I decided to maybe put them together and that's how that's how it started you know we made a video uh, we shot it in the park the very first one and then it got 5,000 views and we're like we we'll like it okay yeah. so you know we shot another one and then it got like 80,000 views and we're like all right let's try it again <laughs> and then we made a third one and then people hated it because we changed put a, we put a model uh, this girl, we put a girl in it. We try to make it like news, and they're like, "This is terrible. We want Captain Crypto back." And we're like, "Okay." So then, right then, I quit my job, and then we spent two minutes, uh, two months making the IOTA video, and then that one had a hundred thousand views. And we're like, "All right, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life." And then I just, that's it. That was the beginning. So yes, totally agree with you. I like the way you put the film industry and the crypto industry together. <laughs> So uh, you love your job, uh, your work as a crypto uh, and buses, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and the owner of the channel, he's very good. Um, since it's a decentralized network, he lets us shoot, you know, pretty much whatever we want to shoot. And yeah. uh, the idea is to, uh, as long as it's crypto related, you know, because we like, some people like to talk about charts, some people like to talk about the new news. Um, but I'm more about the community, you know, I want to know what, people are doing i want to see if people are really using bitcoin i want to see if people are using these you know what people are investing in um just more kind of like on the ground you know if if you're talking about like an army um the general stays back you know or, or like the leader or the strategy guy stays back and then the captains and the, the marines they they are they're always the ones on the ground first and so what i want to know is how i can help onboard the next 100 million users and that's my goal yeah so the best thing that you love in uh, in this is uh, is this that you uh, you can travel a lot and you meet a lot of person, right? Yeah, and the freedom. Uh, for the first time in my life, I I'm a free human being. I do what I want. I sleep when I want. I eat what I want. You know, and and that's awesome. I can do I want. Yeah, yeah, and I've worked my whole life to to be able to do that because you know I am not from here. I'm from I was born in Texas. Oh. Uh, it's a very southern state. I actually kind of have like an accent. Uh, growing up, everybody sounds kind of like this. Um, not that bad, but you know, so then the, you can't really do anything out of Texas because it's a different industry. There's no film there, you know, and so over there, I felt I was trapped, you know, I felt like I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And so I just said I would rather be free and get stuck there and die so i just moved to la yeah it's so free like uh, sometime i see you control the uh, the fly cam the fly cam and you made a great footage 
Oh yeah, the oh, drone. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I just drone, got the drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. We just started putting that in the altcoin buzz videos. Um, yeah, I mean, technology is is moving very fast now. You can have the drone itself. It's about this big. I have it right there. It's it's this big, and you can fly it maybe like four, five kilometers. So it's it's very good. Yeah, because uh, no one done it before in the crypto one. No one used a drone to make video on cryptocurrency. It's very it's great. And uh, so, how, how about any difficulty in the uh, in the job in your work in uh, Anchor Buzzes? Uh, so the difficulty is because everybody is putting out content. They put out maybe three videos a day. We, because of our our quality and our time, uh, we can't put it out as fast. Yeah. So we can probably put out a video maybe once every two weeks. They're very, very, very good videos, but we're competing against you know the other eight other people who are making videos every day. And it's very easy for them to make a video. Sometimes I think maybe I should just be like, hey guys, welcome back. This is all going buzz and you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I could put out three videos a day, but I don't want to be known as, I'd rather not do it. You know, I'd rather yeah. just only do high quality and say no. So. Yeah, I um, agree with you. Uh, we focus on the quality, not the quantity, right? Uh, and uh, right. Uncoibus, uh, you guys have eight people, eight KOL doing in the same YouTube channel, right? Uh, for the team, I think there's about 34 people. Uh, 34 people. Yeah, yeah, but not all of them are doing videos. I think there's only about seven to about 10. I'm not sure, so don't don't quote me on that. But there's there's many people who put out, there's Maddie, there's Andrew, there's Josh, there's Jeff, you know, there's there's a lot of other people that put out videos, not just us. So let's get back a bit, uh, a little bit about why you uh, engage in the crypto field uh, when you begin your career in crypto field, because uh, uh, you have experience in entertainment industry and you work in Hollywood for over 12 years and very many commercial, uh, Super Bowl commercial, right? So uh, what is yeah. the time uh, before you uh, get in the crypto field and the time uh, after? Can you compare? Yeah, before I was, uh, I was always shooting what other people wanted me to shoot. So they have a commercial coming and they say, okay, let's say it's for, I don't know, for Sprite or for, you know, what's big, like Coca-Cola or Adidas. You know, they say, we want to hit this target audience. We want you to make it like that. I still do this. I still do direct commercials. Um, or like McDonald's, you know, so I've, I've done some of those, but it's, there's always a hierarchy, you know, there's like, you know how banks, or you have to go, with, like Bitcoin destroys the banks. Yes. You always have to listen to the banks. Same with Hollywood. Hollywood has a lot of studios like NBC, uh, CBS, Sony's down the street, Fox is down the street. And there's always some people at the top that always say, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. No, you can't. And then now for the first time in history, because of technology, because of internet, because of crypto, uh, we can all create our own content. Nobody can tell me no. Nobody yeah. can say no to you. You know, yeah, you can shoot yeah. whatever you want. You know, you can make whatever you want. You can say whatever you want and you can put it out and people, you can build your own audience like that. And that's the first time in history that content is king. Before, it was not. It was never, it was never about the content. It was about return on interest, you know. But now, it's good, you know. So that's why I switched over because there's a lot of freedom in it. And, and I believe that, you know, if I can inspire other people to do it, if I can have other people do influencing, other people can do become, you know, full time into crypto, then that would make me happy, you know, so that way, like I can leave some footsteps behind. Yeah, thank for YouTube, right? It's can, uh, we can make great content and we can uh, uh, build uh, our own fan on uh, YouTube. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can see that you uh, love shooting the great video with Fry Cam and uh, etc and uh, how so how many people have you shoot the video or you do it alone uh it depends on the budget so if it's like for something all going buzz wise or something like smaller it's just me and my cousin so my cousin uh he's also my neighbor i've known him you know my whole life he's related to me and so uh he does all the directing he does the producing uh, he does the writing, you know, and then when we're flying, like <laughs> on the way back from London, we flew like maybe 12 hours. He edited the DevCon video all 12 hours just on the computer because there's nothing to do on the computer, on the plane. You're just like bored. So either you sleep or you edit, you, you know, so it's just us two. We shot it. And then um, that's how it's always been. And then if there is a budget, if say a 
like uh, let's say a company wants like a commercial, you know, and they want like a two hundred fifty thousand dollar commercial, a million dollars, whatever it is, we work with it. So we can have up to because this is L.A. You can have up to a hundred people on set. You know, you have your lighting guys, you have your your gaffer, you have your best boy, and you have your sound, you have your boom operator, your sound mixer, and then you have your camera director of photography, your first assistant camera, second assistant camera. Then you have your director, first assistant director, second assistant director, and then you have your producers, your creative, you know, we have, I can go forever. There's there's hundreds of, of positions. Yeah, so I can see not every KOL in Encore, but uh, prefer travel and making video like you. Uh, Sometimes I, I can see the video on Encore, but they, uh, they doing the, Screen, they capture the screen and they just talk uh, and they discuss about the chat to follow the chat. So is this the Anchor Bus strategy or is yourself to uh, travel and make the interview that you do? Um, that's my own. That's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, you know, I've been out in LA for a long time and I've been making videos for a long time. And then I, I noticed that, you know, that's what they do very well. They they talk to the camera very well. They do the charts yeah. very well. They yeah. do screen capture very well. I don't even know how to screen capture. So <laughs> I just, yeah, I, know. I do what I know how to do, which is to, you know, to travel and actually talk to people. And uh, so they do what works for them. And I do what works for me. And, and I prefer it that way because, um, you know, coming from film, it's more about entertainment. And I've seen enough videos where uh, people just don't watch it. And right now it's a bear market. And the truth is people don't want to learn about it. The only way to educate people is to see what's happening, you know, in real life because it's the, the interest for crypto has, has peaked um, because of after the bull run and, and people think that it's a scam, you know, and I've talked to a lot of people and I still believe in it, but it's just like the most important people for us is the audience. Yes. And so our audience is who we care about. We don't really care about ourselves. We don't care about anybody else it's our audience yeah. yeah great and you seem to be travel a lot so uh, uh, is a thing that travel affect your loved one or is your family uh, is your family supported uh, is it affect them um so i'm traveling with my family uh, so my cousin is the one that shoots remember so he's oh. traveling with me and so we weren't we weren't that close uh when we were younger um because we're from different states you know and uh he moved out to los angeles and then he started working in tv and commercials he used to be a doctor <laughs> for a hospital yeah, and he's like ah, i don't want to do this anymore you know so he moved out and i'm talking about film and so now our family time is traveling together and so you know it's it's very good and then um i don't have a girlfriend oh um uh, now right <laughs> yeah yeah i feel like uh one day I will find a girlfriend who loves crypto as much as I yeah. do, and she. <laughs> if she doesn't love crypto, I ain't gonna love her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, let's talk about the, the women in the crypto field. I I can, can see some, but I can cannot remember the name. But uh, I can see some women. Uh, they do the cryptocurrency matter in the YouTube YouTuber in cryptocurrency. Yeah. Do you feel anything about it? I think it's great. Um, I think, I think it's, it's, it's a step towards where we need to go because there's, there's something that's very important. Um, you know, Hollywood and in crypto, it's almost 95% men, both yes. Hollywood is all guys, you know, there's the girls are actresses and it's just like, they're just, there's very few female directors, very few women that are directors. There's maybe like a few that are very good um that i do know and there's a few female like a few women filmmakers that i know that are very good but there's not many they're not compared to the amount of dudes not compared to the amount of males same with the crypto space there's not that many women um there's a lot of males there's a lot of men and so to see girls to see women come out and you know the women of crypto um and come out and speak and you know women in blockchain uh, i feel like it's a good thing because that way there's more there's more chance of mass adoption there's more chance of people getting together because right now our audience is i remember back then we did some analytics it was like 95 percent male you know and five percent female so i mean there's a lot of you know as long as they do their research and they're they're willing to you know put themselves out there i i encourage it i think it's a good thing 
um, yeah. Actually, our company is the Asian C in uh, um, Asia. We are doing uh, very many conferences uh, about the cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology in, in Asia. And uh, our company is 85% is women. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will show you around after uh, this video. And um, so um, the next question is, do you have advice for people who want to engage in this blockchain industry, like newbie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the best way to do it is to not get scammed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> because the best way 90 to do it... is scam, right? 90% of the ISOs or the cryptocurrency. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so start simple. Buy Bitcoin. You know, start with Bitcoin just or like Ethereum, maybe Litecoin. Just whatever you can do on Coinbase.com. You know, and then just buy like a little bit, like fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, and then as soon as you put your own money into it, then you'll be like, "Oh, what did I buy?" And then you're gonna start reading. Or you're gonna read it. You're gonna read it. You're gonna read it, and then you're gonna get into it because it's your own money. Most people that know a lot about it, they're too scared to put their own money into it. But you know, scared money don't make money, and so the best way and the fastest way to learn about it is to just put your own money into it, invest yeah. in yourself. You know. So you invest yourself, right? Did you invest yourself? Yeah, I put my entire yeah, I put my entire life savings into Ethereum because my friend told me to. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it was maybe like a hundred dollars at the time, and uh, it was like 2017, maybe April or May, and then I just put my entire life savings into it, and I was like, all right, you know, because I, I moved out here with nothing, uh, and so my risk tolerance is very high. I don't I don't mind losing everything. I don't mind not having any money, so I just put my entire life savings in it. And then Ethereum with the 1400, I'm like, what? I bought a laptop, bought a new car. And then, it, and then I didn't know. I, so I didn't sell it all. And then I wrote it to the top and I wrote it all the way back to the bottom. <laughs> so now I'm just like, all right, I need to fix my car. <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, let's talk a bit about block cloud. So you, uh, as far as I know, you, uh, you now uh, cooperate with the block cloud project, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What exactly what what the thing you guys cooperate? So um, I would just consider myself the here it is block cloud. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so they they announced me as the first global ambassador, and what I do best is guerrilla advertising, and what guerrilla advertising is is really just kind of I don't know if you've seen the Apple commercials or if you've seen billboards and stuff. Um, it's kind of like they don't, they don't subliminal, they don't say buy Apple, buy Apple, yeah. buy Apple. They don't do that. It's, it's more about use cases. It's more about, you know, leading by example, Tesla, you know, so my job is to simply spread awareness about the project. I believe in it. I'm willing to be a guinea pig. When they first launch their SDK, I'm going to get a block out phone. When they get a smart home, I'm going to live in it. I'm going to get a smart car. Like everything, I'm just going to try it out. And if I crash and burn and die, then there's something wrong with the technology. Yeah. But um, I feel like the best way to, to actually show people that it works or that I believe in it is to, is to walk the talk, you know, so just saying it is to actually go out and, and use it and go out and do it. And, you know, so I, I represent the U S, um, portion of, of block cloud and, and, uh, on top of being the ambassador, what I want to do is, um, partner them up with some of the newest technologies out there like you know the bird or uber yeah. um there's a lot of because it's an iot there's a lot of brands in america that could use block cloud there's a lot of problems with internet here there's huge problems with internet so what i want to do eventually is to find the top brands you know like adidas equinox like i have i have a lot of plans to kind of talk to the people um i know it's more of like business development but i feel like since i am american and i do know a lot of people in entertainment and i do know a lot of people who are working at these brands, I can probably find some collaborations or partnerships with them down the line after their mainnet launches. Yeah, Block Cloud is sends a lot of use case. Actually, we are held an event for Block Cloud in Hanok, Vietnam, in in like uh, the month. Oh, I saw yeah. pictures. Yes. Yeah, um, I saw pictures. Okay, you might have been in the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, so how uh, uh how about to 
how to become a KOL a KOL in the cryptocurrency world. Uh, it's a question for for you and uh, if some people they uh, decide to make content uh, on YouTube in the cryptocurrency world, how can they become KOL uh, based on your knowledge and experience? Um, so I believe that they have to know more than everybody else. Yes. Uh, if you want to call yourself a KOL, you better be studying. You better be reading. I have books over there. Uh, I have books called, you know, the human algorithm of human decisions. I have the warrior ethos. I have, I've read all of Andreas Antonopoulos books and internet of money. I've read the Ethereum books. Um, I think knowledge is more important in doing your own research because if you want to be a KOL and you want people to look up to you, you have to be able to back it up. Yeah. You have to know more than everybody else. You have to just, that's your job studying and putting out content and doing the best you can. It doesn't matter if you're terrible. I remember my first video, I was garbage. Maybe three people watched it. The next video, maybe 10 people watched it, you know? So it, it takes time. You just, so, so there's a couple of things, you know, working hard, diligence, Second thing is to not give up. And the third one is just to keep doing it. Regardless yeah, yeah. of what anybody thinks, you believe in yourself, you will make it. Yeah. So just, just yeah. keep doing it, you know? Um, and it, yeah, yeah. The video that I first saw you in the internet is uh, what is the proof of work and proof of stake. And I like it and I love it a lot. And uh, that video kind of bring me into the cryptocurrency world. And, uh, uh, it's uh, it's clarify uh, everything for me at that time about the consensus of the uh, cryptocurrency and uh, but I I can see that that you um, kind of don't do the video like that anymore, right? Only for now, uh, because it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of money that we don't have to yes. produce it. Um, so, so the problem with that is we can keep doing those videos, but they, they just take too long. And uh, the IOTA one took two months. We had to draw every single animation. Yes. Uh, I think I spent maybe uh, at least 200 hours on it. You know, it paid off, but it's like it's too slow. And crypto moves so fast that people, you know, it's a classic though. You know, like classic, like the Beatles will always live forever. And, you know, just to hear that you started it because of that video, I, a lot of people have told me that. And it, it means a lot. You know, if as an artist, if if one video can cause other people to start something, then as an artist, even if it's just one person, even if it's just you making this video is because of our video, then I myself as an artist, I feel I have succeeded or I feel like I have satisfaction, you know? So it means a lot. Yeah. Um, it's a, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it's, it's crazy. So we do plan to do that. I think uh, eventually I'm going to do the top three things to know, like uh, the pros and cons, three things about Bitcoin, three things about Ethereum, and I'm just going to go all the way down the list. But right now I'm going to save up to the next... Uh, the next bull run you know and then i'm gonna make more videos because we had a team of about 15 but then as soon as the bear market hit i just I had to let everybody go because people don't work for free you know so yeah of course um it's just yeah so the educational platform is there that's 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 what i want to do eventually i want to do a educational class you know just to teach people with animations and stuff what everything is um and then the other thing i want to do is to put hollywood and crypto together where if somebody like I have a script about Satoshi Nakamoto yeah. and what I feel like through his email, what I feel like happened. Um, and then I want the people to produce it. I want, I want the crypto community to be like, okay, this movie is going to cost this much Bitcoin because of this, 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 we're going to line produce it. We have the budget sheets. And then if it reaches, you know, crowdfunding and here's the address. And if they donate it to the address and it reaches it, then we shoot it. You know, that's how movies are made. And that's, that's, that's what I want to do. So I want to make movies for the crypto space, blockchain films, and I want to do uh, education. So those are my two goals. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will be a very big movie in the cryptocurrency world. I'm looking forward to see it on the cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause right now, Netflix or the documentaries or the other stuff that are out there, they're not good. <laughs> they're, they're just, they paint it in a very bad light, you know, very negative. Um, and not a lot of it is very true. So 
Yeah. Okay. Let's. It uh, takes time though, so I'm I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get back a little bit about the KOL. Uh, can you, uh, in your opinion, can you uh, separate the KOL and cryptocurrency world in some some kind of uh, people can choose to watch? Like a YouTuber, someone they doing the flow chart, someone they doing the video about uh, what is the proof of stake, proof of work, or someone they interview with people. Uh, what do you mean by breaking it up? Like different types of videos, or yeah, break. Uh, I I mean breaking um, time. What videos? KOL or the YouTuber. So I if. I saw if uh, I am someone just involved in the cryptocurrency one and I um, want to learn a little bit about cryptocurrency, what will I choose in very many YouTubers in cryptocurrency? Um, I would choose Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would choose Reddit. I would choose articles that are like you know, scholarly articles, you know, Cardano, I really like because everything is, is uh, peer reviewed. I never really went to college. So, um, but my dad is a PhD in computer science. And so it's kind of weird how it's, how it works out like that. And um, I think at the end of the day, it's all about the technology and how it can affect, you know, the world. And so the more that you research on your own about how it works, and how it's going to change the world, then you can come up with your own opinion and you can make your own videos. Um, I wouldn't say it because at the end of the day, nobody knows if Bitcoin's going to go up or down. Yeah. If I can tell yeah. you, oh yeah, and you know, three months from now it's going to go up by now, then that's then I'm a liar because yeah. I don't know. The truth is nobody knows the future, so nobody knows, and so don't watch that unless you want to believe what they believe and you want to believe that then that's fine but for me i would want to watch something that that somebody can easily break down something for me something like the iota video you know something like the proof of work versus proof of stake like how does it work what is a protocol what is consensus what is a dag what is you know how does it work why why are there 10 minute blocks you know why is it that you know the longest chain is always valid why is the bitcoin white paper nine pages and why is it on the genesis block that satoshi nakamoto wrote this you know stuff like that so i'm, I'm more of a nerd about that um and trying to find the truth in the tech itself to back it up um because you have other people out there that can you know i know if you i don't want to say any names but it's like you pay me twenty thousand dollars i'll show this coin you know, and that, or you pay me a hundred thousand and I'll tweet this and I'll make it, you know, and that's, that's something that's very toxic to the space. Um, forking is very toxic to the space because, which is the real Bitcoin, you know, nobody knows people that are new coming into the space. They're like, there's two Bitcoins now. How do I know which one is which? Because people don't know anything about it. And then there's already all this internal, internal fighting. And so, you know, John McAfee, um, John McAfee, I talked to uh, Jimmy Watson and uh, I might talk, I might interview him soon because I feel like he's he might be a Bitcoin maximalist and people might see him in a very negative light. But at the end of the day, I do feel like him and his team, they do want people to start using the currency itself. So I want to find out for myself yes. if he is the person that they say he is, you know, because I don't want to believe because everything is fake. News is fake. Reality show is fake. Working yeah. in Hollywood, you know, everything is fake. <laughs> so it's just... Yeah, you work in that yeah. kind of industry, right? Uh, so, um, yeah. okay, the the last the last thing we will play a, a game like uh, uh, as I describe is uh, I give you some kind of uh, the now, like uh, I will state a now and you will state a adjective or now accordingly by how you feel about it. Like uh, for example, is it. If I say blockchain, you can say it's uh, evolution or something, something like that. Okay, but I, I okay, okay, but but this this will make a little bit cut. <laughs> I need to uh, work some something on the paper. Uh, so uh, we uh, uh, we also have a, a big conference in uh, I don't know, Vietnam, December sixteen. December. 16th. Oh, December sixteenth. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's talk about it because I have I have to be in uh i have i have to host a conference in las vegas december 8th and then i have to be in a conference in san francisco from 11 to 12 and then 18th i can probably go yeah so um, uh, december 16th and it's going to be held in hanoi there will be like a 
uh, 1,000 attendees, and there will be a lot of projects around the world. Come and join us. I just want to go there and meet you. I don't care about other projects. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to talk to BlockLoud about it and stuff, because uh, if they want me out there, then then usually, you know, we can work something out just because all I need is a, a plane ticket, a place to stay, and I'll bring the camera, you know, so that's that's all we really need. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's let's talk about it uh, after this, maybe tomorrow or yeah. a day after. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's uh, we win play the game. So uh, let's see, blockchain technology. Yeah, ICOs are cool. <laughs> uh, Bitcoin <laughs> legacy. Legacy. Okay, Hollywood. What is it? Hollywood. Hollywood. Holyfield. Uh, Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scam. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Um, Block Cloud is great. It's great. Okay, and Ancoin buses is fun. Cat and Crypto is coming for you in Hanoi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you a lot thank you a lot for joining us today and uh if you right here i want to high five you <laughs> high five high five, high five. Yeah. and so yeah. and so we uh that's the captain crypto from Ankybus. thank you a lot yeah goodbye. all right thank you so much i'll talk to you soon i gotta go fix my car <laughs> <laughs> okay bye my friend <laughs>